going on. Hopefully uh, this is an interesting video. Um, there are some things that I'm actually going to be trying out for the first time as I'm making the video. So just bear with me on this. Uh, I have made a golf course before, um, but I couldn't find a really good image, I guess, to use. Like this will be good enough. Uh, more or less what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to I'm actually going to scale this down a little bit. I'm just going to drape a outline of this onto um, this terrain. So this terrain I just made from something that we scanned a while back. Um, I will make this available. Um, I can't make the original uh, DWG available, uh, but I can make this. So um, yeah, what we're going to be doing is we're not going to mess around with the elevations too much. Um, you know, obviously you could spend some more time kind of like tweaking it, but we're just going to quickly outline all this stuff here. Um, and where is... Um, that's not the one I wanted. Right. So yeah, I think there's actually a faster way of doing this. So I apologize. I don't, I don't really use arcs too, too often. We're just going to make a rough outline of this though. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, if you want to uh, skip this part, I will be putting a timestamp in the video. Um, so you can just, uh, jump up ahead. Uh, to when we're actually inside a Lumion, or just to when we start doing some other stuff. Um, that's good enough there. Something like that. Yeah, I just want that general outline for now. Um, yeah, I, I feel like there was a better tool that I was actually like using the other day, but I can't remember quite what it was now but uh no big deal i'm sure someone will be able to tell me um i feel like there's one that you could just kind of draw curves a lot quicker um oh yeah um what i'll probably actually do is i think i'm just going to speed up this part um just because you kind of see what i'm doing i'm just going to be tracing out all the uh all the lines here um and uh you know it might seem annoying but it actually you know it'll go fairly fast but uh, I don't want to keep you all kind of here. So I will uh, just fast forward ahead for this. Okay, and I just finished that. I have absolutely no idea why I thought I could do that in like a couple of minutes. So it took me like, I think like 15 minutes. Um, and you know, there's definitely faster ways of doing it, but what you're left with is this, which is good enough for what we want to do with it. Uh, so first I'm going to group all this, make group. Uh, and as I said, I'm not really going to mess, you know, I could be making the elevations a little bit uh, more friendly. I'm just going to drag this in a general direction. Uh, I'm going to put on orthographic top and maybe just line it up somewhere here. Looks good. Turn that back off. Uh, now I'm just going to drape this on. And hopefully this works uh, without any issues. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. Now, as I said, you know, um, yeah, you could definitely put this in an area with like a little more hills and stuff, but I think this is fine. Um, so I'm going to get this out of the way. Right. Um, so let me just save this quick. Uh, now, an add-on that I really recommend you get for this is uh, Offset on Face um, because that's just going to let us do a bunch of stuff with it. Um, what I am also going to do too is I'm just going to get rid of some of these faces here because I'm going to soap skin and bubble these. Um, and that is how we're going to make like water, uh, water and sand traps. Um, but as I was saying about the offset on face tool, is it this one, um, offset on surface. So let you do like, right. So that took me a second to fix. It seems like this has no problem working as long as you, uh, just drag it up a bit. So sometimes you will get like 
I'm not sure why the lines are kind of doing that. Actually. Yeah, so that's yeah, like it's like kind of like minor. I'm not entirely like I said, I'm not entirely sure why it's doing that, but no big deal. We'll just do this. Uh and then that's good enough just for what we're doing. Um put that there. Um and just make sure this is lined up. Perfect. Now we're gonna do the same thing here. So we're gonna drag this up. Click it, offset it by like two feet, I think it was. Two. And that looks pretty good. So we'll delete this one. Grab these two. We're just gonna make sure this lines up no problem. You'll see that snap back in. So as you can see, we you kind of get an idea of what we're doing right now. Um, I am going to make this, this color, we'll just call this, actually, how, is this the correct size, I wonder? Okay, 59 feet, that sounds right. Um, so this is going to be fairway. And then we'll do rough out here. Um, Call this fringe. Oh shit. Bridge. Fringe. And then I will oops. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna make the green, so I'll make this even lighter. Call it green. Um right, so you can kind of see everything kind of coming together now. Um this We'll make the T boxes the same. Uh, let's see if I can offset these. Cooperates with me. Uh, okay, this one's gonna work. Like I said, I don't know why some of them are getting weird. Um, that should be good enough, something like that. And then I'll just do it for the other ones. You can't just double click it, unfortunately. Yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, okay, there should be good. So I'll just drop this in here. Um, well, actually, I'll make this the rough. And then I'll, yeah, I'll do just so that it's a little bit shorter there. Um, so I'll grab this again. Cool. Um, and now since we have all these edges soft and it's a lot easier to kind of grab all these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this. I'm going to use weld, put those together. I think if you have the new or like 2020 SketchUp, um, I think that that automatically, like you just automatically get weld, but if not, I can leave a little link below cause it's great to have. Um, right. So soap skin and bubble is giving me the notification. So we'll hit uh, enter there. Uh, let's click off this. We will uh, get all, oops. We'll get all this selected as well. And cool. So I'll weld it, click it. Everything seems to work. And we'll just keep going through and do this. I think this one's actually the water. Yeah, it is. So we'll, we'll get that fixed up. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to go through and add faces to all of these. Um, and yeah, it uh, should only take a moment. Yeah, basically, all I'm, as you can see, like all I'm doing right now is I'm just going through and I'm uh, soap skin and bubbling all of the uh, <clears throat> all the bunkers just to give it like a little bit of an indent. Um, so like negative five. I was just playing around with some different uh, some different levels. That should be good enough. Like there, there's so much stuff you can do to make this like higher quality, but I'm just trying to get through this kind of in a you know in a, a quick fashion just so people don't have to sit here 
the entire day watching me just kind of go through one hole. I feel like the majority of people kind of doing this too. Um, you know, being able to get all 18 holes in uh, done in a reasonable amount of time is probably more important uh, than, you know, having um, like extremely, you know, precise greens and things like that. Uh, if you use a drone just to kind of fly over uh, and do some work with it, I feel like it's going to be looking pretty good. Um, that's good enough. Um, yeah, like we had scanned this land originally with the drone. So as you can see, like it's not perfect, but we get a, you get a pretty good idea of like the kind of lay of the land. Um, so we're going to do negative five here. Should be that. We're almost ready to bring this into Lumion, I think. Um, I am just going to do a few more things. Okay, so just for the, I guess just for the purpose of this, I was going to try and make a quick path, but uh, I just don't want to play around with it too, too much right now. So, uh, yeah, I think that that's uh, pretty good. Once we just put some uh, sand on here, I think this is basically good to go into Lumion. Um, and, yeah, I know there's a lot of hopping around in this uh, tutorial. Um, really what I want to do is just, um, I want to try out a few things myself and also just kind of uh, walk through the process. Um, because as I said, I have done this before, um, but, um, you know, just kind of troubleshooting some of the hiccups that I run into. Um, okay. So yeah, that should be good, except I want this one to be different. Uh, and I'll make this like a dirt or something like that. So this, yeah. Um, all right. So let's, uh, oh, and I guess there is a couple more areas we need to do. So I'll just throw this on here. Throw this on here. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of like the, uh, that's the start of it. Um, yeah, you know, you, you could get a cart path. I feel like it's going to be more difficulty than it's worth right now. You know, I could just drape on like the actual like shape of it. Um, but, you know, whatever. Like it's uh, not really worth the time at the moment. Um, okay, so yeah, let's bring this into Lumion and kind of see where we're at with this.